I thought today <clears throat> I would take you through one of my processes to make a commission, which my goal was to make a very big one. And as you can see, uh, I am still learning how to put on the pressure. It is not an easy thing uh, to, first of all, center pottery. And it's certainly not an easy thing to get a vessel this large. So it does take some fine tuning. It does take a lot of practice. And that is my spiel today, uh, talking about trying, trying, trying again. And you know, at this point in life, I am officially retired. I am still working as a nurse, but I'm picking up casual shifts in a way that um, honors my experience, my uh, time, my family, my desires right now in life, which uh, my purpose is no longer uh, to be nursing full time or you know contributing in that way to society. <laughs> Life does have its shifts and its changes. And uh, this is my change in retirement. I decided to take up pottery. And truth be told, no matter your age, and I am probably older than I look, I'm not gonna say my age, but people keep saying, how can you retire? I am well able to retire. So I still have energy. I love the sermon that uh, Pastor Andy preached on Sunday at Glad Tidings at Coastline Victoria. If you want to have a look at it, it wasn't this last Sunday, but the Sunday previously in May. And it was about slaying giants, but uh, the actual title was Old Guys Rule or Old Gals Rule. And uh, he was talking about um, there is still purpose. Uh, in your older years. And he brought the story of Caleb into the picture. And Caleb, uh, he had gone, he had been one of those faithful people, gone into um, land to see if the Israelites would be safe there. And he said, yes, of course, let's go. Everybody else was a bit scared. Uh, but Caleb said, no, let's go. And um, God rewarded his his faith and his courage. So if there's something today I want to encourage you in is there's always a purpose. There's always something more uh, in life. If you've had a very fulfilling career uh, of over 40 years as I have had and you just uh, want to make a change or if you are newly, freshly retired and you are wondering what purpose does life still have for me because it is an adjustment um, there is purpose there is something ahead of you you know you have to have the courage to go and explore you have to have the, the desire to put yourself forward your energy forward you have to have the ability to fail uh, as I did in making a very large vessel and you know what, in the end, you saw sometimes you take a mistake and you, you work with that mistake. And that mistake becomes part of the beauty of what's to come. 
this is an absolutely gorgeous urn. If I would have started to make this one start to finish, I would be 100% happy. I'm still going to take this and trim it down. It's going to have more of a, a V shape to it after it dries and I turn it over and uh, trim it. This is going to be a really gorgeous urn. Was it perfect? No. I went to the pottery store and uh, tried to get my usual clay, which is a lovely white clay, and they were all out. They didn't know when it was coming in, and um, I was eager to get going. I had used up all my clay last week, and I made some beautiful vessels out of the clay that I'm used to. So here, this is an Oregon brown. I'm not used to working with Oregon Brown, and yesterday, oh boy, did I ever make a mess. You can see this is a brown clay. My pottery studio was filthy. I was filthy. You can see it sort of stains your hands red. Um, and uh, the clay didn't work as I had expected it to, as it had with the white clay. It's a different kind of clay. You have to work with it differently. Uh, but if you don't persevere, you do not get from where you want to go. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do with your life? How does your life have meaning? And really, uh, and I was reading 1 Corinthians 15 in my devotions this morning, and it's talking about um, doing good in the opportunity that you have. We don't all have the opportunity to do everything. There are limitations, energy, physical, um, whatever that might be, uh, your limitation, maybe you've got family commitments, maybe you've got some uh, other items, you're maybe psychological, um, uh, PTSD, uh, maybe through COVID, you had uh, really quite an insult on your ability to function in the world and be fully present in the world. And I would encourage you, look at the opportunity you do have. Take your notebook, write it down. What are the things that I can do? Uh, and be realistic about it. And take a baby step. There's no way I could have done this vessel when I first started doing my pottery. I really made a huge mess, like all over my carport. There was water and mud everywhere when I first started how to throw. And I didn't have training because it was COVID. I learned how to do uh, potty initially uh, by myself. So YouTube videos, you can learn a lot. It would have been lovely to have an instructor, but I have learned a lot of things through the School of Hard Knocks and experience. And, uh, you know, you practice, practice, practice enough, and eventually you, you improve. Whatever you're putting your hand to, you practice enough, you are going to get better. So take stock of your opportunity and look at your life, and especially I'm speaking more so to those who are in retirement today. <coughs> can be for anybody, of course, because the principles are universal application. But if you are in retirement and you're looking for, uh, to, well, how does my life count? How does my life matter? Just look for the opportunity of the day. That's where you start. Take the first step and then take another step, then take another step. If you stumble and fall and you make a mistake, be encouraged, get yourself back up again, and continue on in the journey. And no doubt, uh, if you put your plans to the Lord, He will make your way succeed. And it's not necessarily the way that you think it will succeed, but in the end, you will look back and say, God, you were good. God, you made these, you blessed these plans, and you brought something out of them that I didn't anticipate. Uh, it was completely different from when I started, you know, my purpose of making pottery or, or whatnot uh, has not necessarily made a huge amount of money. I mean, it has paid for itself for sure, but it, it has huge dividends in uh, connection with people, in um, 
getting to know a very different group of people. I've never been part of uh, the pottery people before, and now I am a potter. So there is there's life after a certain phase of your career. There's life after uh, you make a transition into retirement. That is absolutely for sure. And I truly could not be more delighted with the fact uh, that taking something, taking having the courage to take something, and uh, being willing to fail, being willing to try again, uh, makes something actually quite beautiful. And if I could be like Caleb in the Bible, and he says, I have the same energy at 85, as I did when I was 40. Oh wow, what a testimony that would be. Uh, that's my goal, but it doesn't come by just sitting in your chair. That does not come without exercise and a bit of work and a bit of discipline, uh, keeping yourself connected with life and with people, and uh, just keeping yourself mostly connected with God, because truly, God is the source of all life. God is the source of all strength. And he is the one who encourages, and he is the one who lifts you up when you fail. He is the one who will bring you to a place of beauty through his grace. God be praised today, and I hope you have found encouragement uh, today and food for thought. Pick something up that you like to do and just bring glory to God through it and that is really truly the purpose of our life isn't it that's where we will put our treasures in heaven <laughs> not in earthly vessels so God be with you all and I uh, love you all today bye bye